You the sergeant? I want to talk to a sergeant. Thank you. I don't want to talk. You cannot. I know my rights. This is a public street. Thank you. you. And you ain't got to over talk me. You cannot mess with nobody for no reason. You got any weapons or anything? I ain't got any. That's why I don't want to talk to you because you're asking stupid ass questions like that. You don't assume nothing like that. And you ran my wife off? Oh, I didn't know that was your wife. If you Man, if you would have listened. If you would have communicated. I don't got to communicate. You, you, you approached me talking about, do you have guns? Get out the car with your hands up. No, what I kind of shit? Yes, you did. For what? Your hands well, I got to put my hands out the window so for? I know you don't have a gun. Why would I have a gun? That's what you all the back with, sir? You asking white folks if they got guns? Do you ask white people if they got guns? You lie. I want to talk to a sergeant. I want to talk to a sergeant. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You rude. I can't sit on my own street without getting harassed. That's a sergeant? How you doing? You a sergeant? Hey, what's the problem, man? I'm put. She pulled up here, asking me to put my hands out the window okay. and all kind of stuff. This is a public street. I don't have to do that. I have to break a rule. I have to break a law for her to harass me like that. I'm not breaking no law. This is a public street. I can sit right here. Okay. She. She didn't get no reports of me committing no crime. She just come out there, put your hands out the window, get out the vehicle. That's not that's not prob that's not breaking laws. That's not breaking the law. We got a call on suspicious vehicle. That's you. That's why we're making contact with you. And I told her I'm chilling. I don't have to show ID. I don't have to show none of that. Here's the deal. You're on a public street, right? You just started telling me that. Yes, sir. You're driving a vehicle, right? Yeah, I'm parked. It doesn't matter. You yes, it here. does. Y'all, you're not gonna violate my rights, sir. That is not violating your rights. You're not gonna I violate my rights, it, sir. Okay? You're not gonna violate my rights. It's not gonna happen. Here, here and y'all being go. recorded just, just to make, just to de you. let you know. You already said you're on a public street and you're in a public. Street. And I haven't broke any laws, not one, not one. But I'm just sitting here. Obligated to. I'm not obligated to provide. Yes, no, I'm not. You're in a vehicle. No, I'm not. No, I am on not. A no, I am not. You cannot. What? Yo, you the sergeant? Yeah. Thank you. How you doing? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Why are you giving us a hard time? Why? Because you wasn't here when she approached me. She approached me wrong. All I did was ask you for identification. Not you. I don't have to show my identification. I don't have to show that. I haven't broken any laws. You're not gonna violate my rights. Here's the deal. We're not violating your rights. You are. I don't even want uh, no more questions. I'm not. I'm not talking no more. I'm not gonna like the outcome. Now listen to. Look how you threaten me. You're not gonna like the outcome. For what? For what? I don't have to provide that. No, I do not. I haven't broken any laws. That's why I want to talk to a sergeant. He know the law. You obviously don't. How you doing, sir? So what's going on today? I'm sitting here. I live two houses down. I pulled here to call in my times because I'm a tank and I just got off work. She pulled up. She ain't asked me who I was. Nothing. First thing she said, get out the car and put your hands up. I said, for what? We got to, that you can't, you're not going to violate my rights. If you if she'd approached me better than what she approached me, I wouldn't have had no problem cooperating. She approached me rude, man. Okay. And it's a public street. I haven't, I haven't did any parking infractions. 
I haven't swerved. I haven't denied. I was parked right here when she pulled up. I, I haven't broken any law, so why am I being harassed by her? Okay. I have to break a law. She asking me to see ID. So my wife came, she ran her, told her to get out the street. Come on, man. That ain't right. I live back here. I'm not I'm not doing no trying to home invasion, whatever the hell she think I'm trying to do. Well, so the reason we came over here and we're speaking with you is because somebody actually called in a suspicious vehicle. Okay. So that's what we are here investigating. Okay. Why she started asking me about guns and stuff then? Because we don't know you. Right, we don't know you, and our our goal at the end of the, the end of the night at, at every shift is to go home safe, right? Exactly. I want to go home safe too. Want... I feel threatened. She walk up with a hand on a gun. Okay. That's that's come on, man. That's how innocent people get shot every day, man. Okay. But we're not here to hurt you. Okay. We're just here to protect ourselves. All right. So I haven't I committed ask... any crime. I understand, and nobody's saying you have. You don't have to present ID. If you don't, if you haven't committed a crime, okay. she's trying to violate my rights. Okay. I understand. That. All right. no, I, I will didn't she take a um oat when she got when she became a police officer? What's your name? Oh, come on, man! Now you're trying to trick me. I'm not I'm giving not, none I'm of my information. Out. I'm just asking you your name. Okay. You actually have parked illegally here. Okay. <laughs> your vehicle is parked. <laughs> too far away from the curb. Oh, okay. now, now y'all, now is anything going? I see what's going on. I'm not saying anything's going on. I'm, I'm just simply telling you that your vehicle is parked too far from the curb. Okay? I'm just simply educating you. Okay? Alright. When you park your vehicle, it's supposed to be 18 inches, or no more than 18 inches away from the curb, and your vehicle is far more than that. Okay? So you said there is no violation of law. She, did, she, didn't, she, she, didn't, she didn't say that, though. Well, she, she's not required to by law. So what? So 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 my rights could get violated. That's nobody, what that's what is about nobody, to happen, right? Nobody is saying that. Nobody is saying that. I haven't done anything, man. Okay. Nothing. All right, but I live in this nobody neighborhood. Nobody saying that you've done anything other than what I just explained to you. But like I explained to you, we did get a suspicious vehicle call here. What's so suspicious we, about my vehicle? I don't have no rims. I don't have no loud music playing. I don't have no candy paint. None of that. It's a regular sedan. But nobody says it's your vehicle. You have to understand, we're, we're simply just trying to check out everything, make sure everything comes That's not how she approached me. You wasn't here. That ain't how she approached me. Okay. She talking calm now since y'all here, but she didn't. And then he going to talk about it's going to end bad for me. What that mean? Him. Didn't you, didn't you just tell that to me? You tried to whisper it. Hopefully, hopefully you provide us information that we need. So we can... Now listen to that. He threatened me. Threat. It's gonna end bad for you? What? That's that's not a threat. He's just trying to get you to comply. Come on, man. That's that's, that's a threat, man. That's a threat, man. You told me it's gonna end bad for you tonight. What that mean? That mean you gonna whoop me? You gonna shoot me? You gonna kill me? Tease me? Then what? Explain to me what end bad mean then. That come on. Now, now you're switching it up. I know. I know the, the boys in blue. I know y'all got a code. I understand. But y'all harassing a man, a hard-working man, for no reason, man. Well, it's simple as this, man. You provide us identification. I don't have to do that. You trying to violate my rights, man. Uh, we're not trying to violate your rights, sir. Not at all, whatsoever. We're just out here trying to do our job and keep you safe. And I, 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 I answered the... All right. All we're trying to I'm not going to let y'all violate my rights, sir. I go to jail and pay my bond to get out, but y'all not going to violate my rights, man. People got to stand for something out here. You cannot mess with nobody for no reason just because y'all feel like y'all could. The cops are not above the law, man. I pay taxes. I pay y'all salary. But y'all walk around like y'all, like we, like y'all paying our salary. That's not right, man. I don't break no rules, no laws. You're bothering me for no reason. You're saying I'm, you don't break any laws, but I just explained to you. Uh, you trying to make up something to try to just bring me to jail, man? Talking about a curve. Is that serious? Y'all want y'all want to get somebody buying money that bad? Take a deep breath right quick for me, okay? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Anytime there's any kind of vehicle parked anywhere, especially in a wooded area, by the way, I'm Sergeant Gonzalez, okay? Yes, sir. I want to introduce myself to you before we go on, okay? You said you live three houses down, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so here's the deal. 
let's say your wife saw the same vehicle parked over here um, in this form and fashion, and your wife called called the constable's office and said, hey, there's a suspicious vehicle over here. What would you want us to do to protect? Hold on, no, no, before you answer that question, take a deep breath. What would you want your wife, how would you want us to handle the call for your wife? I understand what you're saying. No, no, but, but see, that's what I'm, I'm trying but to But if a I'm person wasn't breaking the law. Pride, but Mr. Pride, hold on just a minute. But see, that's the thing. Just like Sergeant Strain was saying, we don't know what you're doing back here. And some officers, I'm going to be honest with you, some officers you gonna hope? Need, need a little bit more experience than others. Okay. Man, that dude just I, threatened I, me. I, that dude I, I just told me it's going and, bad and, for and me. Listen, what that mean? Listen, and we're going to talk to all the officers that were out here before we leave. Okay? But here's the deal. When, when an officer approaches the vehicle, we don't know what's going on in the vehicle. We don't know who you are. We don't know what you're doing back here. We have no idea. So a citizen honestly called in for this call as a suspicious vehicle. So an officer's job is to come out here and believe it or not, we put our life on the line every day. So if the officer would have came back up here and there'd have been four guys out here smoking dope and all of a sudden she walks up the car, boom, 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 boom. They right. blast her, she takes off, they take off. I, I, understand, right I understand so, all so that, but so I talked to I know, her. I know, but we're going to talk to her about the way she approaches vehicles. But here's the deal. For a female officer, and I'm not, and I'm not making any excuses for anybody. I just got involved in an on-duty shooting a month ago. I just got involved in an on-duty shooting a month ago. So here's the deal. It's, 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 it's a little, it's a little, um, you get a little nervous walking up to cars in the middle of the night. Because what we're taught in the very beginning of the police academy the two most dangerous calls for officers are traffic stops and family violence. Why do you think that is? I'm not an officer. I don't the know. Emotions are high, and we don't know how it's going to end. So when a when a when a deputy back here on a dark street by herself walks up to a vehicle, things can get out of control real quick. I understand. So sometimes you have to take it to a level in order for the person to be able to get surprised. But that's not going to work for everybody. I, I, it's not. Because I'm not I, scared. I, I know. So. I understand it. I understand it, Mr. Brian. And I appreciate you for cooperating. Yes, sir. But but if an officer asks you for a driver's license, even though you haven't violated any laws, laws, but if you're on a public roadway and you're behind a wheel, and an officer asks you for a driver's license, and if you don't give it to that officer, that is failed to ID because you're on a public roadway. You, you admitted that this is a public roadway. So this is a public roadway. You're behind the wheel. So if an officer asks you for that, now it's felt to ID. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's easier sometimes just to say, here you go, my address is right here. This is exactly what I was doing, and this is all I was doing. That's it. And then be on your merry way. But sometimes when you're a little bit more apprehensive to comply, and it causes an argument between you and that officer, no matter who it is, then all this takes place for because you don't want to comply with certain rules and regulations and they're here for everybody just like i put just like i asked you in the very beginning if your wife had called